Hey guys, uh, I apologize. I thought I, had, I thought I was done, but apparently I wasn't. Um, yeah, there was a story I just saw that I wanted to talk about, and it, it was shared on Twitter. I'll just say that uh, it comes from Daily Maverick. Um, Glencore to pay $1.1 billion fund after pleading guilty to graft and market manipulation. Uh, there's a question here. I think it's more of, more of a, a uh, sarcastic one, but uh, what happens when you take a commodity giant based in the tax haven of Switzerland and let it loose on, on corrupt and failing African states like uh, Equatorial uh, Guinea, Guinea and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Answer, the uh, excrement is bound to hit the aircon. Uh, Glenn Core, a mining and commodity colossus, has finally faced up to, the, to allegations that they embarked on a foreign bribery and market manipulation scheme on, grand, on the grand scale. Glencore International AG, Glencore and Glencore LTD, both part of a multinational commodity trading and mining firm headquartered in Switzerland, each pleaded guilty today and agreed to pay over 1.1 billion to, that's billion, not million, but billion to resolve the government's investigations uh, into violations of the Foreign Corrupt Practice Act, or PC, FP, uh, FCPA, excuse me, and a commodity price manipulation scheme. The U.S. Department of Justice said in a statement on Tuesday. And let's see, it's a full statement. Let's see if I can actually read it. Okay, so let's see. This is according to the Department of Justice, uh, put out uh, May 24th. Uh, Glencore, uh, Glencore entered guilty pleas to a foreign bribery and market manipulation scheme. Let's see if I read the first portion. Uh, these guilty pleas are part of a coordinated res resolutions, uh, uh, resolutions with criminal and civil authorities in the United States, the United Kingdom, and Brazil. The rule of law requires that there not be one rule for the powerful and another for the powerless, one rule for the rich and another for the poor. It's one to anybody else. Uh, said Attorney General uh, Merrick B. Garland, the Justice Department will continue to bring, uh, uh, bring to bear its resources on these types of cases, no matter the company and no matter the individual. Really look into the United States then, as far as that part goes. Um, the charges in the FCPA matter arise out of a decade-long scheme by Glencore and his subsidiaries to make and conceal corrupt payments and bribes through uh, intermediaries for the benefit of foreign officials across multiple countries. Per uh, pursuant to a plea agreement, Glencore has agreed to, to a criminal fine of a more than Four hundred twenty-eight million and to criminal forfeiture and discouragement of more than two hundred seventy-two million. Glencore has also agreed to retain an independent compliance monitor for three years. The department has agreed to credit nearly two hundred fifty-six million in payments that Glencore makes to resolve re uh, related parallel investigations by other domestic and foreign authorities. In other words. You take a year slice, now we want hours, and that sort of thing. Anyway, let's see. Separately, Glencore and LTD admitted to engaging in the multi-year scheme to manipulate fuel oil prices at two of the busiest commercial shipping ports in the U.S. As part of the plea agreement, Glencore and LTD agreed to pay a criminal fine of over $341 million, pay a forfeiture of over $144 million and retain independent compliance monitor for three years. The department has agreed to uh, credit up to one half on the criminal fine and forfeiture against the penalty of Glencourt LTD pays to the Commodity of Futures Trading Commission in a, in a related a parallel civil proceeding. Sentencing has been scheduled in market manipulation case for June 24th, so later this month, and a control dates, uh, date for sentencing in the FCPA case has been set for October 3rd. Glencore's guilty pleas, uh, plea demonstrates the department's commitment to holding 
accountable uh, those who profit by manipulating our financial markets and engaging in corrupt uh, scheme around the world. In other words, those who take from us, that sort of thing. Because the United States is pretty damn good as far as market manipulation, manipulation themselves. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, does that, uh, profit by manipulating our financial markets and engaging in corrupt schemes around the world, said Assistant Attorney General Kenneth A. Polite, Jr. of the Department uh, Justice Department's Criminal Division. In the foreign bribery case, Glencore International AG and his subsidiaries bribed corrupt interme uh, intermediaries and foreign officials in seven countries for over a decade. In the commodity price manipulation scheme, Glencore uh, LTD undermined public confidence by creating the false appearance of a supply demand to manipulate all oil prices. The scope of this criminal bribery scheme is staggering, said U.S. Attorney General Damian Williams for the Southern District of New York. Glencore paid, or, yeah, paid bribes to secure oil uh, contracts. Glencore paid bribes to avoid government audits. Glencore bribes uh, bribed judges to make lawsuits disappear at bottom. Glencore paid bribes to make money. So has the companies here. Anyways, let's see. Uh, to make lawsuits disappear, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars and did so with the approval and even encouragement of his top executives. The criminal charges filed against Glencore in the Southern District of New York are another step in, a, in making clear that no one, not even multinational corporations, is above the law. Bullshit. Glencore, uh, excuse me. Oops. Glencore market price manipulation threatened not just financial harm, but undermined participants' faith in the commodities markets, fair and efficient. Uh, function that we all rely on, said U.S. Attorney General Vanessa Roberts Avery of the District of Connecticut. This guilty plea and the substantial uh, financial penalty incurred is an uh, appropriate consequence for Glencore's criminal conduct, and we are pleased that Glencore has agreed to cooperate in uh, in any ongoing investigations and prosecutions re related to their misconduct and to strengthen its uh, compliance program compared uh, company-wide. I thank both our partners at the U.S. Po uh, Postal Inspection Service for their hard work and dedication in investigating this sophisticated set of facts and unraveling this, this scheme and the fraud section with, the, with whom we look forward to continuing our fruitful partnership of prosecuting complex financial and corporate criminal cases. Today's guilty plea, plea by Glencore and, uh, entities showed that there is no place for corruption and fraud in international markets. Uh, right. Here's the problem with that, I see. Nobody went to jail. I mean, everybody else says the same thing as far as this kind of stuff goes. Nobody went to jail. They only paid a fucking fine. Fucking yippee. Uh, a multi billion dollar company who profited off of uh, manipulating everything, a supposed free market. Nothing happened to anybody there. They all had, the only thing they had to do was pay a fucking fine. That's it. End the story. No big deal. Go. Cool. Um, but as I said at the beginning of it, basically, you took yours, now we take ours. That sort of thing. Um, this is why nothing's going to fucking change because none of people are getting pissed off about this. None of people are actually trying to do anything about it. None of people are trying to either vote these motherfuckers out or, you know, boycott their bullshit or boycott their products. I mean, you know, nobody's willing to, to do what uh, needs to be done as far as not buying these products. Uh, not driving the cars for that for that instance um stuff of that nature nobody's willing to do that as far as i can see so i mean unless people go out their asses and fucking do shit you know and make some ruckus uh make make these motherfuckers you know um wish they never did this shit 
and I shut down, shut up, and you know, change their ways, or nothing else is going to happen. Nothing. This is one of the reasons why I'm into modern monetary theory because this helps me realize what the fuck these people are doing, why they're doing it, how they're doing it, who's helping them do it, and stuff like that. So, I mean, can I do anything about it? Not really, as far as, you know, my position, which it could be the same thing with other people, but at the same time, I'm calling it out and I'm encouraging people to stand up. I'm encouraging people not to purchase, not to uh, create the demand for those products, you know, stuff like that. So I'm helping out in that way. Um, there's nothing, yeah, I wish I could do more, but at the present moment, there isn't as far as I can see, but just encourage you to learn modern monetary theory. Just encourage you to go to realprogressors.org. Just encourage you to watch uh, the product that comes out of these YouTube channels. Uh, Real Progressors of an Action, uh, the Lou Parcher, uh, was it Parcher Parker, uh, P-A-R-C-H-E-R show. Um, I've been mispronouncing that for the longest time, and I apologize for that. But anyway, uh, you used to call him Parker, but it's not Parker, as far as not the P-A-R-K-E-R. Anyway, I'm still fairly new to saying certain names. Anyway, I know faces more than names. My point being is the only people you should support are related to the roadprogressives.org because there's not one thing that I have seen on the websites heard from their mouth uh, whether it be audio or visual, that isn't uh, made to benefit people. They're encouraging people to get smarter, not dumber. They're encouraging people to learn more about finances just through the actual way of looking at it. There's not one part of this, one that's made, that makes you feel dumb. <coughs> <coughs> Not one part of this that makes you feel useless in regards to what to do. Nothing. This is why I, I this is why I wanted to work with real progressives because they are working for a direction I want to go into that will benefit this country, benefit benefits people, and it does not worry about paying it worries about capacity for that what this country can do without having to worry about how you gotta pay for it it pays it literally pays for itself unlike those fucking tax uh, tax rebates that trump got amazon's gone google's gone microsoft's gone every big corporation has gotten those are tax expenditures that's another form of tax uh, of, uh, of government spending it's not coming into the comfort is going out and it's not doing shit except for filling their pockets up <coughs> sorry my, my best impersonation of team combine anyway love the guy love this organization i wouldn't want to volunteer for anywhere for anywhere else in regards to that so I give high the highest praise that I can give to any organization I have pretty much ever volunteered for, and that's Real Progressives. So, yeah, just learn. Go to realprogressives.org. Uh, listen to macaroni and cheese. Listen to people on there. They're there to make you smarter. They're not there to insult your intelligence, to make you feel dumb, to make you learn the wrong thing by economics. Everything, I mean, there's, there are certain things I disagree with as far as certain individuals, but that's pretty much it. And that's more of on the individual basis, not the policy or the organizational, organization, organizational basis. Anyways, um, now I think I'm done as far as this part goes. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for listening, however you're doing this. And please support this channel. Please support Real Progressives by going to realprogressives.org. Donate, volunteer, do what you can as far as that part goes. Uh, but yeah, just support.
That's all you can do as far as the part goes is support and encourage. Encourage people to run for office. Encourage people to do all that stuff. You know, um, that's all you can do as far as a person as far as I guess. Anyways, I'm getting kind of off the subject. Anyways, uh, so peace out for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, a little later on. If you're a wrestling fan, if you're an AEW wrestling fan, I will I'm starting a wrestling uh um commentary um YouTube channel as well. So I'll be sharing that. Uh peace out for now.